state in America. And, and as you said, I've been warning against that for 20 years. Uh, even in my first book uh, it, that I wrote in 1994, the last chapter is about that very issue, the police state. And w we've gone now uh, far beyond that, but we have sheriffs and chiefs of police who are now all being uh, trained by the federal government and the SPLC is making sure that the federal government and all these other police agencies are trained to be, be like this and that they should be afraid of anybody who believes in the Constitution. Well, that's it's, my question, because you travel all over the country and speak to huge, you know, huge crowds of people, a lot of police and others. On average, are they criminals who know what they're doing, or are they delusional that, well, this guy, Mr. Allison, isn't a human, we'll put him in jail for life to send a message because he videotaped us in public. I mean, h how do they not think of him as a human? Uh, I mean, are they just on mentally ill power trips? This is, it, it all comes down to what I've said in my book also is Nuremberg. This is just the Nuremberg mentality. It's the SWAT team mentality that happened in Arizona and all across this country that the uh, Department of Education now can call out a SWAT team to collect uh, fees. Uh, not because anybody's committed a crime, but on a, on a civil matter of just a mere collection. This is happening everywhere, Alex. And, well, as and you said, it came, it came out that was illegal, uh, where they are now sending Department of Education with a local SWAT team for bills, and they bust in without warrants. It's like launch wars without Congress, gun laws without laws, uh, super Congress to create bills now. Uh, I, I mean, it, it, look, it's happened. The republic has fallen. We can always restore it. But do you agree with me that for all intents and purposes, the executive has been turned into a dictatorship? I'm not saying Obama won't leave, but the office itself. And we need to just go ahead and admit the goose is cooked. And the, I think the establishment knows that we are waking up. And so they're just going, hey, the velvet gloves off. You're right. We're narcotics trafficking. Uh, murderers, and this is the way it is, and if you videotape us or stand up to us, we're going to put you in prison. Right, and I've said that before. It, it is that. We live under a democratic dictatorship, uh, and it's very little democratic, I mean, but democrat democracy is still mobocracy, and so we have a mobocracy dictatorship, and as long as Obama can get some of the masses behind him on these things, fine, but I also said, I called America the democratic dictatorship under Bush. And uh, the only thing Obama has done differently than Bush is to take all the things Bush was doing wrong to the 10th power. It's the same program, it's the same spending, it's the same wars, uh, it, it is, it, it's, all of it is absurd, un-American, unconstitutional, and cops are trained just like the Nuremberg defense of just following orders. And that's the huge problem in America. And the court found that they could uh, be hung for following those orders. Now, I want to spend a few minutes on, on Fast and Furious, the reason you're here tonight. Uh, he, it's come out he lied to Congress. That's admitted. Uh, the head of the ATF had to step down. They've shipped guns all over the U.S., not just Mexico. Um, and I have a letter put out in April 2nd, right after they got in office, 2009, and he said uh, that they launched a new Project Gunrunner operation um, and that was going to go on in the border. So here he is on record directing it, as the ATF had said. Now we've learned eight other agencies, Coast Guard, FBI, DEA, uh, uh, were uh, all involved. Uh, what do you make of this? Uh, I, I mean, isn't this another sterling example of how governments will stage false flag terror attacks? I mean, this is a staged event. Uh, against the Second Amendment, is it not? Well, uh, it, it is, and uh, that's exactly what it was meant to do. And this is nothing new. Staging these types of events, Jap uh, Japan did it during World War II against China. Uh, this is nothing new. And what th this all is, to put this into perspective for your audience, everyone needs to know that this scandal is bigger than Watergate. This is the biggest scandal in American history since the assassination of JFK. The reason being is, now Watergate got a lot of attention from the press, and the press actually brought down Richard Nixon. And that was about the CIA now admits weakening the office of the president for the bureaucracy to take over. Not saying Nixon was good, but the point is it was an inside stage deal to set him up. 
Sure, of course it was. And and Nixon uh, Nixon's only crime was trying to cover it up afterwards. However, no one was killed in Watergate. It was a stupid political burglary. Republicans breaking into the Democratic headquarters in the Watergate Hotel. Who cares? This one is a president and a and Eric Holder administration literally running guns down to Mexico and other places in the country, putting them into the cartel, Sinaloa being one of them, and then those guns being used against innocent citizens in Mexico. Mexico has no idea that this even happened. So America, the, the American government, the Obama administration, I'm not going to call it American. It's not American. It's the Obama government breaking international law, staging an event to procure public sentiment against the Second Amendment because he knows he can't do it openly. So he had to take a backdoor approach using Hillary Clinton and Eric Holder and their own ATF and Agent Dodson, John Dodson from Phoenix, actually blew the whistle on this. And he said, how is it that this is going on when I was assigned to stop guns from going in? And now America? we've learned that domestically it was about blaming the Second Amendment and their own speeches show they were already saying we got to restrict the Second Amendment because of what's happening in Mexico going back two years ago. They've been caught. But, 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 but Sheriff Mack expanding on that. Now we're learning that Sinaloa, this came out in federal court, it's in the El Paso Times, Chicago Tribune, that they were allowed for five years going back into Bush and under Obama to ship cocaine in, and then indeed the guns were going in to knock out the drug cartels competition that weren't laundering their money through U.S. banks, and we have Wachovia Wells Fargo caught laundering the $376 billion. I mean, right there, this shows you just how dirty this government is. Uh, it's been dirty for quite a while, and uh, yes, that has happened. And uh, all these rumors about the CIA and others being the biggest drug dealers in the world is now coming to light. And now we have the ATF joining the CIA in being part of the drug trafficking worldwide. Another reason why we need to understand that the drug war policy in this country has been a huge failure. And anyone who continues to support this kind of policy has their head up their rear so bad it's not even funny. Well, I just tell young people, they say, oh, don't do drugs, you know, they're, they're cool and everything, and Hollywood promotes it. No, it's what a loser does. It's a, it's a tax directly to the offshore banks that set up our CIA and, and run our country. Never use drugs. Never, never, never. You want to defeat the New World Order, never touch them. Uh, Sheriff Mack, we appreciate you joining us. Give out your website and uh, uh, comment basically on that little booklet you've got. I always love those quotes. I know I, I, I didn't warn you beforehand uh, for this live interview here, but um, I uh, love that quote from your Supreme Court case that, that you put in that booklet where they, again, enshrine that, yes, we have states for a reason. They do exist. Well, that's true, and thank you. Uh, SheriffMack.com, you can get all my books there, but the, the cheapest one is just a little $2 booklet that you mentioned. Is it fits right into your uh, shirt pocket. It's a pocket-sized booklet called The Victory for State Sovereignty. And this case is the one you mentioned earlier, is the one I took to the U.S. Supreme Court, won a small-town county sheriff defeating the, the Clinton administration at the U.S. Supreme Court. And in it, it says that states we have held, however, are not subject to federal direction. And it gives the answer to the solution to the tyranny and corruption going on in our country today, and it's county sheriffs and states and local officials standing against the federal government. All right, Sheriff Mack, thank you so much for spending time with us. I look forward to having you in studio since you live here in Central Texas. Oh, that was the last point I had in my notes, and then I got it quick because I keep going over on the show, and we're getting it ready for mainline TV, and we've got to you know, keep it at least in the 30 minutes, then we can go into special reports after that if we want. But uh, right now, I might just turn this into a five-hour show the way it's going. Uh, it was confirmed by firefighters I talked to and also in the Gonzalez paper, the Gonzalez Canon, and now we've learned more. Mike Adams, uh, who lives outside Austin, experienced this. They are trying to block not just firefighters that have come in to help. FEMA is, just like Katrina. They are trying to block farmers from building their own uh, fire firewalls. And they're just basically letting it burn uh, just so FEMA can set the precedent for a power grab. I mean, is there no end to how destructive these people are? 
Well, we already know how corrupt FEMA is and the rest of the federal government, but uh, Senator Sylvia Allen, state senator in Arizona, said the exact same thing happened in Arizona during the, the uh, wildfires near her home uh, in the uh, Sholo Snowflake area uh, of about three or four years ago. That I they, remember that when FEMA blocked it. Exactly. Same thing, Alex. This has happened before, and now it's happening in Texas. Same thing. And, and, and so first they take our National Guard away and federalize them and say, uh, now you got to ask us for help because your National Guard are off literally growing opium in Afghanistan and other places. And then they come in and, and, the, and the locals don't go, well, no, we'll take care of it. And they go, no, no. And then they grandstand. It's incredible. I mean, there's no end to these people. The people of Arizona actually went to put the fires out themselves and they were blocked by the federal government for being able to do so. So they were not a, a allowed to save their own land. And even local fire departments were turned away from saving the land in Arizona. No, no, I'd forgotten that was all over the news three years ago. Oh, yeah. It's just, they, they just repeat. Nothing new. Nothing new, Alex. Uh, all right. Sheriff Mack, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, my brother. See you soon. You bet. What a great guy. It's so good to know there are good people out there like him. And I know there's a lot of good police left in America. They're trying to purge you, just like the military. we got to stand together. Uh, I want to just thank the crew for another great job tonight. I want to thank all of you, the PrisonPlanet.tv members. We couldn't do this without you. If you're watching this uh, on YouTube or all the other uh, TV channels out there. Uh, you need to subscribe at PrisonPlanet.tv if you want to support true alternative news and information. We're just getting started. You know, this is, uh, we'll be a week into this uh, tomorrow, and we're going to be here five nights a week. We are busting our hind ends and our brains uh, to, to break all this down and, and, and try to put a defense up against tyranny because uh, it is coming in like a flood. I mean, everything we've covered tonight, there's no need to review it. And, and there's the problem is there's just so much more. It's it's endless. There's just a lot of control freaks on power trips that think that they're our God. All right, well, that's it for InfoWars at Nightly News. We'll see you back here tomorrow night, 7 o'clock Central, 8 o'clock Eastern. Uh, please spread the word and please su subscribe at PrisonPlanet.tv or InfoWarsNews.com. I'm Alex Jones from the front lines of the InfoWar, signing off.